one of the things that can happen sometimes with these panels is they're just used to give information to kids. They don't actually come interact with them and, and, and experience learning in new ways. So as an example, if I was a fourth grade math teacher, I might be teaching a fraction problem like this. And so I come in here and I use my uh, screenshot tool. This is the area tool and I can just drag here and be like, oh, this is a great question. And that's gonna go there on my canvas and I can resize it. And then I tell my kids something like, copy this in your journals. Well, that didn't really do anything, right? Like they're just getting information from this problem that there's no interaction here. But I could take it a step further and use my embed browser to find uh, simulation websites like this fraction simulator here uh, from the FET websites. If I run this simulation, I can use my embed button here to embed that directly onto the canvas. So I can move it over here and now I can pose a challenge to the kids instead of having them copy information and say something like, hey, one fourth plus one half. That, that seems kind of weird. Like how could we add parts that, that are different sizes? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this lab up here and if anyone wants to use this, you can come up and use it as well. And by the way, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the shape tool here and I'm gonna draw a couple circles make a copy of this circle and paste it. So now I have two circles and I'm going to use the my view board feature to split this into halves. I'm going to split it into fourths. And now what I want you to do at your tables is I want all of you to talk and discuss. You've got a few different models here. How can we figure out this relationship between halves and fourths? I want to know what's the same about them. I want to know what's different about them and then tell me how you solve this problem. Suddenly we've taken a problem that was just gonna be copied into journals and done independently to uh, collaboration focus. Kids can come up and use the board to show and demonstrate their thinking. It's hands-on, it's physical. And we've really taken it to a, a different level. So anytime we can do that with, with learning with kids, that's the goal of lessons like this.